that a sonic boom, any sonic boom, could break glass, any kind of glass. Adam has the rare privilege of taking flight with the U.S. Navy Flight Demonstration Squadron, the Blue Angels. What happens if he barfs? We do have barf bags for that. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you want to happen, right? <laughs> This right here is an F-A-18 Hornet. This right here is one excited Mythbuster. Why? <laughs> because in a few minutes, the two of us are going to go on a ride together. We'll pull it up on there. Just remember, if you feel sick, pull that lever with the yellow and black stripes on it. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Blue Angels Winter Training Facility in El Centro, California. Why are we here? Well, eventually, Adam's going to go supersonic in one of their jets. But for right now, he needs some training. So that's what we're going to do. And it's on these training exercises that Adam reconfirms himself as the king of the cookie toss. He's got form, but this time he takes it all to new heights, literally. Ready to go flying? I am. Ready, hit it. Oh, -ho. and we're flying. Oh, holy crap. Go ahead and flex those legs. Take a deep breath. Ready, hit it. As we pull on up there, there's three Ds, there's four Ds. Pulling on up to five Ds. We got five Ds, five and a half coming up there. As we pull up, four, nine degrees here. Well, the heck maneuver, the maneuver they gave me to keep from passing out when we pulled lots of Ds worked fantastic. There we go, just relax as we come on down. That was pretty cool. Oh, now. Wow. At one point, I even saw the gray tunnel. I was able to stay out of the gray tunnel. As the G starts coming back on, there's four Gs. We're pulling five Gs coming down the bottom there. Five and a half. There's about six Gs. We have a long out right where we took off from. And we're good. Pretty cool. Wow, I saw a little of the gray tunnel there. Yeah. <laughs> You ready to go? I'm ready. All right, so we can pull on up here. We'll start rolling. Go ahead and flex those legs. Take a deep breath. Ready, hit it as we pull on down. There we go. There's five. Five and a half. We accelerate towards the ground. There, there's five. There you go. As we come on back. Wow. But on one of the last maneuvers, I actually, I can't say I blacked out because I didn't see black. I could still see, but I lost control of my head and neck muscles. I was kind of had trouble, I don't know, I felt like a computer that had frozen briefly. Take a deep breath. Ready, hit it. Come on, stick with me, Adam, you got it, you got it. Come on, stay with us, stay with us. We got it, come back. You with me? I'm with you, I almost I passed out there for a second. <laughs> no worries, that was 7.3 on that term. I'm starting to feel a little nauseous. It gets you sometimes. <laughs> Oh, I think I may throw up. All right, you got the bags back there? I do. <laughs> Hold on. There we go. That couldn't have gone better, honestly. I mean, OK, so I threw up a couple of times. <laughs> but strangely, amazingly, that didn't detract from the experience even one little bit. There's just nothing like having that kind of view. We got down to 500 feet at one point and flew along the canyon and flew along the Colorado River. I mean, it is absolutely like every special effects film we've ever seen. It's that cool. We saw you go down the runway nice and level, and then all of a sudden you were going straight up. We have fired a whole crap load of rockets on the show, but we've never ridden in one. <laughs> 